Hi girls, Arpita here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another cooking video. Today I am showing how to make the wedge burger easily at home. So let's see what and all ingredients we need to make the wedge burger and how to prepare it. Before that, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. That will mean a lot for me to create more and more videos like this. So the first ingredient is mixed vegetable. I have taken carrot, peas, beans and also aloos. These vegetables are boiled uh, around the two visuals in the pressure cooker and I have drained the water. Next I have taken poha, around one tablespoon of poha. This will act as a binding agent. Around one spoon of poha I have just soaked in water and I have removed the excess water. Mayonnaise, around one tablespoon to dress up the burger. All purpose flour around 1 tablespoon again this is for a binding purpose. <coughs> Chat masala around 1 tablespoon. Green chili powder sorry red chili powder around 1 tablespoon. Coriander powder, powder around 1 tablespoon. Haldi around quarter tablespoon. I have taken bread crumbs to coat the cutlet of the burger burger bun, butter to saute the cutlet and also the bun, salt to taste and finally tomato ketchup to dress up the burger. So let's see how to prepare our veg burger for today. First we need to take all the cooked vegetable in a bowl and we should make it to a fine smash. So I just smash all the cooked vegetable into a fine paste like this so i have nicely smashed all the vegetables you can see some uh, piece are like that only that's for this uh, smashed vegetables we will add the soaked poha around one tablespoon we should soak the poha in water and just drain all the excess water next we will add around one to two tablespoons of all purpose flour for the binding purpose next we will add all the dry spices that is red chili powder coriander powder haldi and chaat masala so i have added all the dry spices to it we will add around one tablespoon of bread crumbs to it next we will also coat the cutlet with the breadcrumbs so one tablespoon is fine for now then salt to taste we will mix all the ingredients together and we will make a fine cutlet shape so i have made the, all the mix of dry spices over here now i'll be taking one uh, big ball of uh, the cutlet and i'll be making it to a cutlet shape like this you can make the patties as big as you need and as thick as you need depending on the burger bun size next i am uh, coating this uh, cut cutlet or uh, patty with the bread crumbs like that and i'll be keeping it aside you can see how nicely we got the cutlet or patties so we will repeat and we will make one more patty with the same procedure take as much as required and just tap it to get a nice patty shape and coat the patties with the bread crumbs you can make this patties and keep it aside once the guest arrive you can directly cook this and serve the burger hotly so i have made all the patties now we will shallow fry this for this i am taking a pan and i am adding around half tablespoon of butter over here and i will be shallow fry the cutlets or patties what i have made so i am placing all the patties in the butter like that you can keep this uh, patties in the freezer for uh, two to three hours and also you can take out when required and make a burger so i'm adding little more butter to the pan so that it will be nicely coated to the patties and we will get a crispy cutlet or patties for a burger you can make it crisp or soft as 
as per your taste so i i like my patties to be little crisp so i am adding little more butter here and i am making it crispier if you have a calorie conscious you can add little butter at a time and you can avoid butter as well so once it is cooked in one side i'll just flip it around you can see how nicely i have got a golden brown color and it is nice and crisp so we will cook on a other side as well it may take 1 to 2 minutes to cook on one side to get nicely crisp patties for the same pan i am adding little more butter and i will be toasting my burger bun like that this is optional you can make the bun raw as well but i like my burger to be little crisp so i just uh, sauteing the burger bun as well just for one minute not more than that just to make the burger bun hot now we will go ahead and do the dressing i have taken around one tablespoon of mayonnaise and i am adding around two tablespoon of tomato ketchup to it and i am mixing it well to get a dressing sauce you can use the mustard sauce if you like or a garlic sauce garlic sauce but i have added only mayonnaise and tomato sauce today so we will arrange the burgers for that i have taken one side of the burger bun and i am applying the dressing sauce to it nicely and i am adding raw onions and tomatoes to it you can add lettuce leaves if you require and also extra cheese next i am adding one patties to it taking the other side of the burger bun we will just dress up all the buns with the sauce we have made like that and we will cover up the cutlet So I am just arranging all the buns. Now our burger bu burger is ready. Veg burger we have easily prepared at home. Hope you have enjoyed my video. If so please like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Love you all. Bye.